The Honorable Member for Saskatoon Grasswood. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Everyone agrees that Canada needs a modernized broadcasting act that fits today's digital age. Unfortunately, Liberal Bill C-11 is another in a long line of bad Liberal bills. C-11 creates more red tape for businesses and creators, puts more control in the hands of the incompetent CRTC, and opens up a Pandora's box of internet regulation. If passed, C-11 could give the government the power to decide what Canadians can and cannot post on their social media profiles. C-11 is going to limit consumer choice, drive up prices, create further uncertainty for Canadian businesses and creators, and limit the free expression of all Canadians. It's time this government to scrap C-11 and get back to the drawing board once and for all. The Honourable Member for Outremont. There were over 200 shootings in Montreal last year, and a few days ago, someone shot up a daycare in Quebec. Gun violence is real in our city. Yesterday, I stood with our Prime Minister as we announced a total halt on the sale and import of handguns. This is a frozen market nationally, period. I would like to take this opportunity to thank some of the incredible advocates I've had the opportunity to work with. Police de Souvien, the Coalition for Gun Control, the Danforth families, Dawson College, La Grande Mosquée de Québec, Les Amis de Thomas, the Association for Women in the Law, and many, many others. It was with an enormous sense of relief that I stand in this House of Commons to say that our government is putting an end to the sale and importation of handguns. No more. In Canada, things will be different, and you will not be able to legally purchase a handgun. That is over 55 thousand guns sold in this country off of our streets, period, for our children, for the safety of all Canadians. Now, before we get to questions, I thought I'd bring in a, a backup. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost speechless, almost. Uh, <laughs> they, I'll, I'll just take a couple of minutes, if that's okay, and just thank you for that warm welcome. Merci de l'accueil. Thank you very much for such, such a warm welcome. It's really a pleasure to see you again. Great to be back. Please don't let me regret saying that. <laughs> now, now, while I was away, uh, I just want to thank you all for the texts, the calls, the emails, the fruit baskets, the flowers, uh, the plants. Uh, it really made the time go faster, knowing that someone was thinking of me. And that, that's something that I really do appreciate each and every one of you. It's very kind of you, and it's something that was really helped me see, see past the time. So thank you so much for all your support while I was away. I also want to take a second uh, to uh, just a little bit of a shout out to some very special people. Uh, the folks at uh, Health Sciences North in Sudbury. Uh, <laughs> you 
Dr. Batura, who was the lead surgeon, and Dr. McDonald, uh, they were both outstanding. Uh, and Dr. Wan, who's my cardiologist, who said, you better go see these people, otherwise you're not going to be around much longer. So to all three of them, thank you very much. And to North Bay doctors, Dr. Graham, who's my family doctor, and Dr. Andrews, who's a cardiologist in North Bay, who's been following up to make sure everything goes well. And you know, doctors do great jobs, but when you're in the hospital lying there, there's a certain group that really, really do an excellent job, and that's the nurses. That's well deserved. A special shout out to Victoria, Leanne, Angela, and Shannon, who made my stay as pleasant as, could, as, as it can be. Uh, there's two people that I really want to thank, and uh, that is my wife, Chantal, Hello. and my daughter, Samantha. <laughs> they were both there for me while I was in my bed, and they brought me all sorts of things. And Every, they told me everything I had to do, which isn't, wasn't always easy. Uh, the staff in the constituency office and the staff in the speaker's office who just did yeoman's work to make sure that everything continued to work well. And uh, I didn't get any major complaints, aside from what you guys were doing here on both sides. But other than that, uh, <laughs> but overall, they took good care of, uh, of constituents. And uh, the table officers in the clerk's office, who did outstanding work. <laughs> to the point where they even signed an order making sure that I would get better. So I had to follow that order. I mean, they, they did an excellent job that way. And of course, in my absence, uh, there were some very special people here. You're in personne en particulier. There's one person in particular, the honorable member for Joliet, who was here every day and he made sure that everything went smoothly. There's the chair occupants, the honorable member for Algoma, Manitoulin, Kappas Casing, and the honorable member for Brussels, Saint Lambert, who did outstanding work. <laughs> and of course, last but not least, the deputy speaker, the honorable member for West Nova, who did outstanding work. 